Do you need funding for your real estate deals? Future Cash Flow Funding has exactly what you need. Whether you're looking to fix and flip, new construction loan, or if you even have rental properties, you can get the financing you need today. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. Check it out. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. It's time. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by Future Cash Flow Funding. Get the funding for your fix and flips, the funding for your buy and hold at Future cashflowfunding.com. What up? What up, what up, what up? Tennessee Slim in the building. Chris Wachowski, I see you. Alexis, the realtor. Cruel realtor. Alexis, cruel realtor. Okay, I see you. So yeah, I got a lead. I'm about to call back. I don't even know if they're going to answer the phone. I just popped the live on just in case they do answer. So give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. So we got a lead out in O'Fallon out there in your area, Chris. Um, let's see here. Owner occupied, looking for a quick sale, good condition, but that price they want 315, they better be worth 400. But we're gonna see. Let me pull it up. I'm gonna call Mr. Jason back real quick and see what he's talking about. Let's see if we can make a deal. Let's make a deal. Let's see here. <clears throat> So just general information about the house. It looks like a three bedroom, three bath, 2,300 square feet. Um, looks like they just bought it or sold it or transferred it or something in 2023. So pretty recently. And it's got a bunch of updated pictures on here. I don't know if that means it was listed before or what. Oh yeah, it was listed recently. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. Um, yeah. So I guess this was on the MLS. Looked like for 285 back last year. So this guy said they want 315. So we might be dealing, yeah, it's worth 20 million. Exactly. We might be uh dealing with an investor here, but nevertheless, let's call him up, see what he's talking about. Let me go over here. Let's go to my email. I mean, not my email, my call system. Let's call Jason and see if he's playing around. No go. Well, they said they want 315. We got to start somewhere. You know, we're not doing 315 unless you take these payments, these take these terms. We'll take over the payments of the house subject too. But we don't even know if he's open to that. Let's get his story. If he's a flipper, he won't be flipping it to me, buddy. So, Jason. Let's see here. Let's call Jason. Record the call for quality. Let's talk to Jason. <coughs> you say no go. You never know. It starts off with a high price. Hello. Hey Jason, this is Chris. I got your uh, information. Say so you were looking to sell the house on Cords. How are you today? Oh, hey, how's it going? I was just looking around, uh, playing with some stuff, and uh, my wife she wanted to move into a neighborhood that close to her friend and I was like well shoot let me see what I can try to get for this house and um go that route and yeah so yeah yeah we're, so, looking, we're looking to possibly sell and okay makes sense have you already found a place you're going to be moving to and stuff yet or not really well we did but there's no way we can act on it fast enough um uh, so we're just gonna try to plan this out and um Last time I, I sold to Open Door and uh, did pretty well, and uh, that's when we moved here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I like that there wasn't, it was an easy process. <clears throat> um, and yeah. That's well, I'm going to be up front with you, Jason. We're better than Open Door. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we make it an easy process as well. We try to make it nice, clean transaction for you. 
you know, and try to work with you on timeline and things like that to make sure, you know, everything that is important to you is taken care of. So if we were able to agree on a price and everything, I mean, how soon would you be looking to get the process done and over with? Well, I think I got to be here a year in order to avoid uh, capital gains tax. And that's going to be around like June, maybe. Oh, so you haven't even been there that long. Well, we I think actually we moved in like maybe April. It'll be about a year. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so when you bought... I, um, what's that? So when you bought this house, did you uh, buy it with a loan or you uh, pay cash? No, we got a loan. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering why they say you have to do a year. You saying just because of the capital well, gains? That's to, that's to avoid capital gains tax, right? Well, there's a number of ways you can avoid capital gains tax. I'm not a tax expert, just full disclosure. I specialize in real estate, but there's a lot of loopholes to the loopholes, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So is that the most important thing for you, avoiding that capital gains tax? Or what's important to you as regards to selling uh, this house? Well, I'll tell you what. It's, I mean, if the price is right, I mean, we could get a deal, then sure. Yeah. Okay, so so you got some time then. You're really not in a rush or anything to sell it. No, and honestly, I mean, I, I like this place. But I don't want to sell it. She wants to move to a different school district. So, yeah, with yeah. Uh, our daughter being friends with another daughter, and her, she wants to go to uh, where her friend's going to go. Well, you know, they say happy wife, happy life. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the condition. I guess it's in perfect condition pretty much still, just like when you moved in it. Oh, well, it's in better condition, actually. We've done a lot of updates. We did a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, we put up a retaining wall that's really nice. Got a nice patio. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, geez, what else did we do? We did quite a few things. Uh, got a brand new furnace. Um, Brand new, it's four months old. Were they, um, were they running about eight grand or something like that? Uh, about the seventy five hundred. Look at that! Sound like we've been buying them too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that it went it went out on us the, uh, the furnace that we had. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be upfront. Like so, there was a gas leak, and then there was carbon monoxide leak, and then there was a. Uh, furnace was just junk so yeah i had to take care of that yeah it was a lot easier that. just to replace it huh yeah okay so if we were to buy it we wouldn't have to really do anything it sounds like um you get probably got, a, you got an older ac unit um and that's probably about it the AC unit. Yeah, they usually try to upsell you when you buy your furnace. You need to get a new AC with it. They didn't get you with that, huh? Uh, they, they tried. Um, they tried to get me with it, but I couldn't afford it at the time. So yeah, because oh, it was an unexpected expense. So yeah. Okay, and then what were? You, how much are you looking to get for uh, your house here? So it's huge. It's a big house. Uh. It's, uh We're looking at 315. Um, I know it's pretty high, but I think it's totally worth it um, compared to other houses that's going on around here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm no real estate agent, and if we get it, we get it. If we don't, then no tough luck. So. Yeah, so no harm, no foul. So 315. How did you come up with that amount? Well, like I just said, uh, the houses around here go above that, and this one's way bigger. Um, and uh, I think it's totally worth it. Hmm, okay. Um, let me see here. I'm just trying to see if I can pull some quick comps. Um, because really, when we buy them cash, we don't normally buy them at the top of the market like that. I mean, I know you said it's kind of high. I'm just being upfront with you. I don't want to, you know, pull your leg and give you a I false you, hope. I, you're starting to make you're starting to make me think that you're not as good as Open Door Man because they gave me top dollar, and all they did was change the floor and got twenty thousand extra. What? Look at that. Well, there's more than one way to buy a house. So uh, there, there's others, you know, and I don't even know if that would work for your situation. 
Um, we bought them you know, in another way where we basically would structure the deal where we would get you that price that you're trying to get, that $315. Um, and we would, it would basically help you avoid that capital gains tax where we would basically put some money in your pocket and we would just continue making those payments on the house you already have. And you think something like that would even help you out so you can move quickly? Hmm. Yeah, we could. Yeah, that's possible. That's something that we could probably listen to. See, I told you we're better than Open Door. We got more tools in the toolbox. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, it's, I'd rather just be yeah. done on, you know, one, one something. But how much yeah, did you still owe on it? Do that. Uh, we owe. <clears throat> Maybe uh, two eight two ninety five two ninety five, and so so you're basically trying to net about twenty k in your pocket and be done with it. Um. Well, enough for a. Uh, uh, hold on. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> so, well, yeah, for towards the down house, down payment on house, or fixing up another house. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then, what are the payments uh, that are on the house now? Uh, about twenty two hundred. Twenty two hundred. That includes the taxes and insurance. After yeah, everything. Okay. Are there any uh, HOAs there? Uh, no, there is not. Okay, no HOAs. Yeah, because they, they, I've seen some HOAs as high as five hundred a month. Would you believe that? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm like, I need to get in the HOA yeah, unfor- business. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, my wife wants to move to this one house, and it's got an HOA, so. Yeah. So, let me get this right here, Jason. So, if there was a way we can put 20000 in your pocket at closing, where you can actually move to another house quickly and help you avoid that capital gains tax, because if you sell it all cash, you're definitely going to get a capital gains hit on it, just full disclosure. But in this creative way, you won't get that big hit because you're not... They, you're basically taxed on the money you received, not on money that's promised, if that makes sense. So they would not hit you for, you know, that big chunk of money uh, as far as the tax capital gains. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we're able to put like 20000 in your pocket at closing and close in your timeline when you're ready, I mean, is that something you think will help you guys out? <clears throat> um, yeah, I, yeah, I guess you could do something like that. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to ch- check on some numbers here, but it sounds like something we probably could do. Um, we would just structure it just like any other transaction goes through the title, uh, through the title company, just like the one you did before when you bought it. Um, it's a pretty clean transaction. Mm-hmm. Um, really, the only thing is the loan, the loan will stay in your name temporarily until some time in the future. That's really the only thing. But outside of that, that cash will be in your pocket the day of closing. You'll be able to move. And, you know, and you could probably get the house that you're looking at now, depending on when we would get this started. What made you say that earlier that that house uh, that you wasn't able to move quick enough on it? What was that about? Well, because we just saw that it opened up and we're pretty sure it's going to go quick. The houses don't stay long around here. I don't know if you are familiar with this area. Yeah, they go pretty quick. So so it just hit the market, the one you're looking at buying. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, maybe about a week ago, or actually, we looked at it Friday. Oh, you already saw the house, so yeah. you already kind of love it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but we got to do the financing. We got to go talk to uh, mortgage people, you know. Yeah, the whole song and dance. I understand. Well, I mean, what I would like to do, Jason, is if you and your wife would like to have a conversation about how we could structure this. And, you know, I want to make sure it's clear for everything because I don't want to just throw you into something that's un, you know, that you haven't seen before. I would like to speak to you and her, make sure you're both happy with everything, answer any and all questions you may have in regards to it and see if we can make a deal happen for you guys. How does that sound? Yeah, we could, we could possibly do that. Okay. Uh, when will she be available as well? Um, she could be available tonight. So this, so after or six or something, like after or, 
They want to try to do something. After four? Uh, we all, it's hard to say what time she's going to be off. She works for the post office. Um, <clears throat> actually, tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, uh, Jason, is I'm going to, you know, uh, figure out what we can do as far as a cash offer. And we're going to send you something as far as this creative offer, like I'm speaking of in writing so that you can have something to digest. And then we'll plan to speak tomorrow with you and your wife, answer any and all questions, see if we can uh, get this process going for you guys. Uh, any questions or anything for me for now before I let you go? No. No. So I think we're gonna get it done, Jason. I mean, would that would they got would that make you guys happy? You think or what? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. I don't know. We still gotta find another place and a lot of movement we gotta do. So. Yeah. Yeah, moving is a yeah, burden. We'll, well, at least you know you'll have uh, you know somebody ready to buy that house, put the money in your pocket that you actually need to move to whatever house you do find, whether it's the one you've already saw or you find another one. We'll help you work that out to where right. basically we work with you and work at your timeline. So it's not like, oh, we got to do it in two weeks or oh, it might take two months. We don't know. So we're really flexible on that to work with you guys to make sure you get everything you need. Uh, do you guys um, do you guys sell other houses or what do you guys do? We buy and sell real estate what all over. Do? Uh, what do you have? Another do property you, you want to sell? One hour? I'm sorry, okay. I, I, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Uh, is there other, like do you guys sell houses or? Yes, we like, buy. So what I'm saying is, if oh, go ahead. if you guys have any other housing. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind looking at it if it's in the area or whatnot. So. Uh, we're finishing up a rehab in Florissant. I don't know if you want to be that far back up north. And then I have another one in Afton in no. South County we're finishing up. No, we're trying to stay in O'Fallon. You want to stay in O'Fallon? Because uh, a buddy of mine, I think they have one up in, uh, where's that house set over there? Um, Moscow Mills, is that too far away? Actually, that's a <clears throat> that's an area that we we wanted to look into also. We we I'm, I can connect you with my buddy. His name is Chris as well, and uh, see if he can uh, you know maybe work something out with that house. So, you know, we're like I said, we we try to solve problems. We don't look at it just oh it's just a price and try to beat you up and everything. We really try to truly help people out mm -hmm. and you know come with a solution to the problem. That's awesome. So yeah, I'll get you the information for that uh, Moscow Mills house as well. So at least you'll know, you know, what you can do. And we may be able to structure something with that. So you never know. Every deal is different. We just try to be creative and solve problems. Any other questions for me for today? No, no. if you want to maybe get in contact with your buddy Chris and see if uh, there'd be any interest of uh, uh, doing a deal there. Or, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's an area that we, we looked into also. So... Let me see. It's a four bed, two bath. Is that going to be big enough for you, or? And it's got a big. Yeah, that's perfect. We it's... were looking for three. We're gonna, we were looking for three bed, but uh, yeah, four bed, not too bad either. It's actually got a full basement with an egress window, so you can finish it out if you wanted to. A huge basement. The basement is like you know the same size as upstairs, so it's a big house. Does it have an HOA? Um, let me check. You say you don't like those HOAs. You're worse than me, Jason. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I'm not a fan. Uh, let's see. Does it have any HOAs? I, I'm sending them a message right now. Does that house have HOAs, Chris? Yes. How much is it? If yes, how much is it? It's probably not a lot, though. And they're probably not that strict. Yeah, because I, I actually sold him the house. That's the only reason I even know about it. <laughs> but I know he's an investor, and they're always oh, looking to move and deal, so. Oh, gotcha. He's already wanting to get rid of it, huh? Well, you know, not really. Re get rid of it. We're in the business. We buy and sell real estate. We solve problems for people. It's not about, you know, we make money on them, you know that, but it's not like, we just want to make sure everybody's yeah. happy. That's the big thing. 
So HOAs are two hundred dollars a month. Oh God! Is that a month or a year? Hold on, let me make sure that's a month. He said two hundred. Yeah. That could be a month or that could be a year. Would you rather it be a year or a month? <laughs> If it's a year, that's doable. Two hundred bucks a month, though. Yeah, that's true. Well, you better come with a pool. So, I mean, what? There's no way it can be two hundred bucks a month. Well, a what month if I told you it's 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 a year, two hundred a year? He just wrote back. Oh, okay. that's doable. So yeah, let me see if I can get you the information on that. You know, you can at least check that out. And uh, like I said, we'll I'll send you that offer in writing that we spoke about, and then I'll actually see. Uh, you know, we'll we'll plan to speak tomorrow afternoon to you and your wife. We'll try to make this whole thing come together for you. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right, Jason. I'll let you get back to your day. And uh, like I said, I'm Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers, and uh, I'll be back in contact with you soon. Okay. All right, thanks, Chris. All right, have a good day. Bye. All right, bye-bye. All right. Boom. What do you think about that? Buy a house and sell a house all in the same live stream. That's why I be going live, because you don't know where these calls going to go. They might talk crazy. They might talk good. Who knows? So, okay, let me get this back on here. Let me send them a text. So, what do you think about that call? How do you give that call on a scale of 1 to 10? Is that something you can make a deal with? He said he's looking at Moscow Mill. Booyah. Look at that, Chris. Show up and win. That's all you got to do. Show up. He might want to buy that house on a wrap from you, Chris. Drop some money. He give me that 20. I give you that 20. Or I give him that 20. He give you that 20. And he move into the house. I don't know. Something like that. And make payments to you. Whatever. Sell it on a wrap. Then he ain't even got to go get financing. Look at that. It's already got financing in place. Come on with it, man. That's the game called real estate. Don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate, then wait. What do you think about that call? That was a pretty good call. Pretty good call, baby. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I should leave this up on the replay or not. I might have to put this in the in the paid membership or something. Put that somewhere else. Don't let nobody see it. See, these kind of calls that you got to really get into because you don't know where the path's going to take you. Did it sound like I was reading a script? Did it sound like I was, oh, going off this checklist? I did get the four pillars, didn't I? Got the timeline, condition, motivation, and the price. Uh, we got a question in here. Are your contracts for seller financing multiple pages? Um, they can be, yeah, because we got disclosures. We got to disclose, disclose, disclose. That's the question we got here. How do I do that? You can receive questions, but can't show them on screen. That's Instagram for you. So, yeah. I'm going to put this behind the paywall, I think. No, not the paywall. Let's put it on a subscription. So if you haven't subscribed to my IG here, what are you waiting on? Subscribe. Go to my profile. We like the follows, but hit the subscribe button. And I got a bunch of these type of calls on a subscription. They're hidden. They're on IG here, but they're hidden. So yeah, let me send him my thing here. Great speaking to you today. What was his name? Jason? Jason. Learn more about us at our website. Please send the best email address for you. I already got his email address really, but I just leave that on there as a generic message. So hopefully y'all got something good. For those that don't know, my name is Chris Monroe. It's the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. I'm out of St. Louis, Missouri. I do some wholesaling nationwide. I buy and sell real estate as you see right here in sunny St. Louis. 80 degrees today, baby. That's why I got on a short sleeve shirt. I'm about to get back outside. Just showed a property today. Did a little one hour open house on a wholesale deal. We've been overbid on that property. Overbid. We put it out at a price. It's upbidded. That don't happen too often, but I guess it's a good deal. And uh, we're going to roll with it, baby. So I got to get that paperwork going on that. And that's how we do it. Any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out here and do some more woke stuff? Questions. What's the lessons? What up, real estate JC? What up, what up, what up? Who else just came in here? You make it look easy, because it is easy. It's just a conversation. I don't know what that guy was saying. We knew the price was high from the beginning. When he told, when he said 315, I knew he was high. But if he only owed 295, payments of 2200 a month with taxes and insurance, no HOA, that might be good. So yeah. This came from uh, WokeSource.com. If you're looking for leads to generate leads, WokeSource.com. Uh, we pull lists, expired lists. We pull uh, 
pre foreclosures. We door knock pre foreclosures. Been knocking. Did any new ones come out today? I don't even look. Pre foreclosures. We like expires because expires, they've already run, ran through the gauntlet to find out that they could not sell that house at that price or they have little to no equity like this guy. 315 is his magic number. We'll give you 315. Take over those payments. At. If his loan is about 295, we'll take it over. Give him 20 grand to walk. That's entry fee of less than 20%, right? Or less than 10%. Because 10% of 295 is like, what, 29,000, right? If we're entering in it at twenty thousand, that's a little, nice entry fee. We're talking what seven percent entry fee plus you know seven eight percent something like that, less than ten percent entry fee. Any kind of creative deal, that's what I'm looking for. No emotions, just talking to people who want that money. That's right. I never take it personal, and I wasn't even mad when he said he wanted three fifteen. It's in O'Fallon, Missouri. O'Fallon, come on, huh? You're almost out there in Lake St. Louis, almost where Nelly them at. So. Hopefully this video helped y'all out. I will catch y'all next time. I'm about to get back to work. Uh, do you door, door knock the pre-foreclosure or hire that out? We'd love to know your process. I've been door knocking to myself. I need to develop a door knocking team because these people don't like to answer their phone. We got a whole list of them. And some of them let it go straight to auction. They're just because they don't want to answer their phone. They don't want to. So we send out marketing. This is our basic process. We pull lists. Like I said earlier, from wokesource.com, skip trace the list at wokeskiptracing.com. Real easy, wokeskiptracing.com. And then we contact the list at wokereply.com. Now, when we contact them, we're sending them out uh, cold calls. We got callers. We sending them out uh, ringless voicemail, meaning it just automatically drop into the voicemail. Hey, this is Chris. Just want to know if you were interested in selling. Not sure if I even have the right number or not. Some generic message like that. And we send a text message. So we're texting, calling, and voicemailing all in one system at wokereply.com. And then they respond back. Hey, we want to sell. What's your offer? What do you get me for? Or whatever they do. And then we roll with it. We put them through the process, the sales process. Then we get on a, an initial call. Either I would do the initial call or my VA would do an initial call. That one was an initial call on that one. I was the first person to speak to them. I didn't send that through the VA because it came in hot. When they come in hot, I'm getting on the phone. Close them up, baby. Roll them like that. And then we, you know, we send them an offer and we put them under contract and we do the deal. That's how the process works. Uh, just hire some solar sales guys a door knock. They need to be door knocking for them houses, them pre foreclosures. But them solar sales, I think y'all been making some bread too, putting liens on people's houses. I see y'all. Do you need to do the Twilio setup on the site? Uh, yeah, it's not that hard though. They walk you through it. Yeah, so if you want to learn more about all the stuff that I do, it's all in one one place. WokeRealEstate.com. Everything I just mentioned is all at WokeRealEstate.com. Whether you're looking for marketing, whether you're looking for contracts, whether you're looking for cool gear like this hat to say I buy houses. If you're looking for real estate coaching, want to learn more about how you can actually get some, some training to get you better, no matter the weather, all that is at WokeRealEstate.com. Check that out. So I'm going to let y'all go, man. Do what you do. Be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. And I'm going to leave this up on a free one just for y'all. Happy birthday, y'all. I'm not going to put it behind the paywall. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for you real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, wokereply.com. That's wokereply.com.